Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm one half of the caper couple. And today, guys, we're going to go for a rip over to New Waterford. And we're going to check out another historic lighthouse. And here's the lighthouse. So, check that out, guys. We're in New Waterford. I thought I'd take a jaunt down here and show you guys another historical lighthouse. Talk a little bit about it and get you guys some aerial footage here. Now, I meant to do this place last year, but we just didn't get around to it. It's a little bit hard to find, guys. I had to ask directions to get here because it's off of the back streets. And I'm not too familiar with New Waterford. So, I hope you guys like the new footage and audio. Because we ended up picking up the GoPro Hero 8 Black with the uh, media mod attachment so you guys get awesome footage awesome audio and another little surprise out here today guys if you can see it down there is we have our famous ship the blue nose out in the ocean here I'll try and get you guys a view of it um, I don't think I can make it that far out with the drone, but I will get out there so far out and I'll zoom in with the new zoom feature anyway and uh, show you guys what the ship looks like, but you can get a little view of it here for now. So what do you think guys? That's the blue nose. This is Low Point Lighthouse. So that being said, sorry guys, got too much in my hands. That being said, I'm gonna shut down here for a minute, get everything ready, have my cigarette, and I'll catch you guys back in a minute. Peace. Okay guys, I'm back, so we're gonna check the lighthouse out here and tell you guys a bit of information about it. So I'll have a look at that. I'll uh, even get you guys some aerial footage. And I don't think I'm going to be able to catch any too close to the Blue Nose as it's heading down the harbor. But at least you've seen a little bit of it there. Uh, I don't know if you can really catch that or not. So a low point lighthouse is an octagonal concrete tower measuring 72 feet high. Painted white with a red painted iron lantern. The lantern is from the original Chance Brothers professional lens. But the lens has been removed first lighthouse was an octagonal wood tower 69 feet high with red and white stripes in it. it had a round iron lantern and a third order double bullseye lens which was made in France by Bachier Bernard A. Turenne, I believe the name is. Lighthouse was replaced in 1936 by the current concrete tower. The original lantern and lens were retained guys. Low Point has the only remaining circular lantern in Nova Scotia. It is also one of the few lighthouses to retain its keeper's home. Lighthouse was automated and uh, de-staffed in 1988 and by 2002 the vacant keeper's house had been badly vandalized and the Canadian Coast Guard wanted to destroy it but the Nova Scotia Lighthouse Preservation Society and Sydney Harbour Fortification Society came to an agreement with the Atlantic Lighthouse Council and the Canadian Coast Guard for the, for the house to be leased and restored. 
In May of 2003, vandals broke into the lighthouse and broke 17 panels of curved glass, which were mostly original from the lantern. In, in addition, the fog director was also smashed, as well as several other window panes. A battery was dropped through a spare optic lens stored on the site, and a fire was set in the keeper's house, but it didn't do much damage. The lantern was soon repaired using acrylic panels instead of glass to prevent further breakage. Since destaffing, there has been a history of vandalism, but nothing compared to this, and sadly, it's an example of what has happened to lighthouses across Nova Scotia since uh, destaffing. So, guys, you see the area. It's a beautiful area, beautiful coast. Check out all the windmills down there, wind turbines. There's actually a young fella and his dad here. I've uh, seen them when I come in. They're along here fishing somewhere. Probably right down here somewhere. Or back the other side behind me. I'm not sure what used to be here, guys. Possibly some kind of dock. But you can see it's uh, pretty extensive, the size of it. A lot of boulder put down here because of the erosion. You can tell that's what it was put here for. Uh, they don't want to lose this lighthouse like they did the uh, the other one I filmed before for you guys. So, just grab my helmet here, guys, and we'll take a little wander. There's the guy and his kid. We'll take a little wander over that side. And then I'll get you guys a little bit of aerial footage and we'll head on out of here. <coughs> so, check the area out. Let's see, there's a uh, Marine Atlantic vessel coming in way out there, or it's leaving. I believe it's a six or eight hour ride across to Newfoundland, guys that ferry so something else used to stand down here and yeah you can see the blue nose is way off in the distance there now if I had got here sooner guys I would have got some footage of it for you guys I would have been able to get a bit of aerial but I'm not gonna be able to now he's too far off you can see there was a this is where they, I believe the house was. I'm guessing this would be where the light keeper's house was. I don't see any other house other than the one by the entrance there where we came in. That could be it. Could be it. But it actually looks like someone's living in that home back there. So I'm not sure guys. So all that being said, I'm going to pop the drone up here, get you guys some awesome footage and we'll catch you back then. Peace.
it here, call it a day, head back home because it's quite a ride. So I'll finish it with this guy. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below, smash that like button, make sure your notifications are on, and until the next one, catch you later.